Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE. Glad to have you along for another episode of News Roundup. Last week, San Francisco hosted the VRX conference. This is one of the growing number of events focusing on the use of AR and VR. VRX is a Reuters event with panel discussions, presentations, and exhibitor space. Among the exhibitors, we saw Sixth Sense, a training app provider. Here is an attendee using VR to learn how to spray paint a vehicle in Sixth Sense application. Notice the replica spray paint can. This is critical in building muscle memories in such usages. Lose It, another exhibitor, showcases its brainwave monitoring technology. With its add-on attached to the head-mounted display, you can monitor the user's brain waves. Combined with the helmet's eye tracking, you can tell, for example, where specifically in a virtual car or a product the user is looking at when he or she shows signs of interest. This feature could be important as more car makers and retailers are now seeking early feedback using virtual showrooms and virtual products. Holo Stylus, on the other hand, showed how you might scribble notes or sketch in AR using its pen-like device. Writing in AR or VR with a controller is awkward, even if it is possible, so such a device is a welcome addition. Logitech, the company that makes mice, webcam, and other peripherals, also has a similar stylus called VR Ink Pilot Edition, just released. We also found Dimenko showing off its widescreen 8K monitor with 3D effects. This works by analyzing your eye position with a mounted camera set and transmitting two images to create left eye and right eye views, creating the illusion of depth and mass. Keep in mind though, this device is meant for single users, so if a bunch of people crowd around this monitor, not everybody is going to perceive this 3D effect. And the 3D remains active only within the viewing zone, so if you walk back too far away or walk too far into the corner, the effect disappears. TGO, a London-based startup, was using its grip controllers to show you how you can replicate your hand movements inside AR VR applications. The controller's track surface can detect skin contact and motion, so your close-fisted open hands and finger positions can be translated into VR. It can also simulate sensation in the form of vibration through the track pack, so you could add a layer of realism to AR VR for entertainment and training purpose. Last week, Vario also announced its VR Workspace, a customizable virtual workspace with a library of furniture you can drag and drop into it. You may also import Windows applications like your browser or 3D CAD programs into the workspace. The Vario Virtual Workspace supports Logitech's VR Ink Stylus so you can write or draw inside it. The workspace runs inside Vario's latest hardware called XR1. A lot of the news coming out from the AR VR industry, including shows like VRX, indicate the industry is moving beyond the cool visuals and the wow factor. At VRX and other shows, more and more companies are concentrating on solving a critical interaction problem, how people handle digital objects inside the VR world. This, we think, will make AR VR adoption grow. For more design and engineering related news, please go to Digital Engineering 247. That's digitalengineering247.com and follow us on our YouTube channel at DE Streaming. This is the last episode for this year, so thank you very much for all your support for our work and I wish you a wonderful holiday season. This is Kenneth Wong for DE. See you in 2020 and I'm up.